Twas the best I could do without the help of enslaved thunder lizards. Eh? Eh? No, I see. Silent treatment. Don't tell me you're still mad about the whole costume thing, Cunningham. Who's Cunningham? Hmm. 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 Okay, to start off, no one can tell me this kid isn't incredible at handling his emotions. Who doesn't freak the F out when you wake up with no memories and Colonial Sanders coming at you with the line, Enslaved Thunder Lizards. Secondly, while confused, he doesn't seem frightened by Howard. I'm not saying he's intimidating by any means, but for all Randy knows, he could be a very bad guy. So him keeping his head straight is very impressive. Remember anything? Nope. You don't remember your name? I do not. Or our history report on the Norrisville Van Dam? What's Norrisville? Uh-huh. I see what you're doing. Two can play at this game, Cunningham. Ah, uh, what game? Exactly. And who is Cunningham again? Oh, it is on! Let's just see how far you'll take this amnesia thing. He has his hands in his pockets slightly slouched, so now he's showing signs of nervousness, or at least frustration, as that's the only times we've seen him do this. Other interesting note, it's clear Randy is following Howard to get answers since he obviously knows him. See that guy? Mm -hmm. Tell him he smells like fish farts. Fish farts? Isn't that rude and dangerous? Oh no, he thinks it's hilarious. He loves fish and farts. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's gonna bail any minute. Any minute. What do you want? Any minute now. To make you laugh, amigo. He's gonna bail. Did you know you smell like fish? Oh. Fish sticks and roses with a hint of leather. Best smelling guy in school. <laughs> New cologne, huh? Word being a douche again. But more importantly, Randy still trusts him. I've heard that certain feelings, if strong enough, are ingrained in the mind. So even if you don't remember, you still have that feeling. So maybe Randy's bond with Howard is so strong he feels he's trustworthy. Also interesting how he immediately says, isn't that rude and dangerous? Again, to me, it shows his politeness and fear of bad are so ingrained in his mind that they stuck, regardless of memory. You're Randy Cunningham. You're my best friend. You love Grave Puncher and Talking Ape movies. When you were seven, you chipped your tooth in my book, but in an incident that our parents still don't know about. How do you know so much about the inside of my mouth, Harold? It's Howard. Howard! You can tell through the series, Randy had no issues with contact. While annoyed by certain kinds, it takes a lot for him to actually push them away. We can see he's obviously done listening to Howard. He was visibly confused and angered by his grapple on his back when talking to Bash. So it's now been established that despite what he may feel, Howard can't be trusted. Therefore, he walks away, a respectful, calm way to deal with the situation. But Howard continues to press it, for obvious reasons. So, out of frustration and clear irritation from all of this, he finally shoves him away. He still does it when he covers his mouth later, proving he's still upset. Uh, I bet you want to fight that thing, don't you? Are you nuts? Who wants to fight a giant robot so Bruce? No, 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 wait, that's crazy. It's not crazy. You're the ninja. Oh, I'm the ninja. Hmm. I'm the what? I'm the what? You have to stop that thing! Look, man, I'd love to help, but I am not a ninja! Yes, you are! You have this mask and all these honking weapons! And you have the... Namacon! I'll bet you did this to him. You have to undo it! Stupid book! Just put it on. It's a magic ninja suit. It doesn't matter who wears it. A magic ninja suit? Really? Are you listening to yourself right now? Magic ninja suit? Hey. They tried to warn us before big trouble in Little Norseville. They tried to warn us with this line, and we didn't listen. We didn't listen. You have to save the day. That's what the ninja does. If you know so much about being the ninja, then you save the day. You said it yourself. It doesn't matter who wears the suit. And we need a hero. We need you. We need Howell Woodardy. Wienerman. Howard Wienerman. Ninth grade ninja. We're trying to edge Randy into fighting is hilarious. And it actually shows he does in fact have the common sense to know that what he does is insane. Which means he clearly does it to save others. And yes, he does seem to enjoy it a lot. Also, it's interesting how we see his self-preservation isn't any better even mind wiped. And he still needs Howard to help him. 
Seeing Randy have such difficulty believing he's the ninja is either A, something the Namacom puts in his mind, i.e. Mac Amphi has the same difficulty when he's mind wiped, or Randy's logical outlook just makes it hard to believe. On a funnier note, Howard freaking assaulting the Namacon while Randy just watches in confusion. He's probably thinking he's insane. Final note overall, it's clear they're hinting at Randy's reason for everything outlook, which just... Why? Also, I had canon that he gave Howard the suit and told him all that stuff just so he'd leave him alone. <laughs>